Oh, YouTube. Gotta be messing with everyone's money. <laughs> Today guys, we're gonna talk about an update that YouTube recently made to their algorithm that decides what videos get approved for monetization, as well as wanna answer a few of the top common questions you guys have been asking regarding all that. It's coming up. Hey guys, welcome to Video Creators. My name is Tim Schmoyer, and in case we haven't met before, this channel is just all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. And you can be doing an awesome job reaching people, but if you're not making money to make it all sustainable, you will eventually have to quit reaching people and go do something else. So first, a little bit of back history here. Months ago, some advertisers did not like that their ads were showing up on content that did, they did not want to support. And so they pulled out all their advertising dollars from YouTube and a lot of other brands did the same thing. And the revenue here on YouTube, both for YouTube and for creators, tanked. Thankfully, most of YouTube's efforts so far have been successful and these advertisers are coming back and money is going back to where it used to for a lot of creators. Part of that process though included YouTube becoming more strict in how they evaluate which videos are going to be suitable for most advertisers and which ones are not going to be suitable for most advertisers. So in August, YouTube launched new monetization icons and a new appeal process so that we as creators would have better transparency into what's going on with our videos and the money that our channel is generating. Not because they're trying to figure out how to take money away from creators. Remember, like if you're not making money on your videos, neither is YouTube. It's a revenue split. So YouTube is motivated to figure this out, right? But they first want to make sure that advertisers keep spending their money here. So you and I and... YouTube continues to get paid. The system that they put in place to determine what gets like a green icon, which is like thumbs up, this video is being monetized, or a yellow icon, that system uses machine learning, which means that it's going to get better and improve over time. The more data it gets, the more it learns what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. But right now, it's not super smart. So if you feel like your video has been misclassified, you can submit a manual review and appeal that decision and have a human being actually look at your video and decide yes, suitable for all advertisers or nope, still not suitable for all advertisers. Apparently the system is learning because about a week ago, YouTube announced that they made a big update to the system that has resulted in a 30% reduction on the number of videos that are receiving limited ads. So that's millions of videos now that are becoming fully monetized. But obviously you and I still get videos that are being misclassified as not suitable for all audiences and we're like, that video is completely innocent, so it still has a lot of learning to do, and YouTube says the best thing to do is keep submitting those videos so that our system can continue to learn and get better. Although I do think Casey Neistat's tweet has some merit that it would be great if YouTube could just be a little bit more proactive about this. Like, if they know that their labeling is not being suitable, like maybe they could just, on some channels, just decide to review it automatically, like a human review without having to wait for us to submit it. I realize that might be a huge burden for YouTube, but for channels that have been 100% advertiser safe and friendly in the past and are getting a substantial amount of views, maybe like a quick automatic human check on those flagged videos would be probably a good idea. I have a few other personal thoughts about all this stuff that we're gonna get into here at the end, but first of all, there's a few common questions that I know you guys have been asking a lot. I did some research and found some official YouTube responses for you guys. Number one, will YouTube ever eliminate the appeal restrictions that they currently have? YouTube's answer is, eh, Probably not. They said we have hundreds of millions of videos and we have to set some sort of parameters on which videos we can take human time to evaluate and which ones we can't. And right now our team deems that videos that get 1000 views in the past seven days, those are the ones that we can spend our time manually reviewing. Which I know sounds like a slap in the face to everyone else, but Honestly, guys, if you're in that category and you're not getting a thousand views in the past seven days, you're not missing that much revenue. Like I, it's it's not a lot, maybe a dollar, two dollars, something like that. And I realize like every dollar works and it's probably less about the money and more about like the mental feeling of like, 
I put a lot of work into this and I could at least got a dollar or two and I'm not going to now. And it's just more like a, come on YouTube, heart, oh, knife. Oh. But remember, don't take this personally. This is like where I see a lot of creators are just getting really upset thinking that YouTube is out to attack them. YouTube is like trying to shove down the little guy, which we'll talk about again here in a, in a second. But remember, it's actually the advertisers who are making this demands and rightfully so. And YouTube is coming along saying, we want to keep these advertisers happy. We want to give them the best platform for them to spend as much money here as possible so that ultimately the end of the day benefits creators and benefits YouTube. The second question is, Tim, they changed it. Now I need 10,000 subscribers in order to submit an appeal for my videos. That's actually not true. You actually need 10,000 subscribers in order to submit a, in either private or unlisted video. Another question is, I submitted my video for appeal. It came back being confirmed as not suitable for all audiences and it's not true. How do I re submit that video for another appeal? Unfortunately, right now, guys, the official answer is you can't, which I know stinks for some of us, but I I know we're all really hoping the system gets better fast. Another big question is, my video is deemed not suitable for all audiences, has that yellow icon, and I feel like that's causing my video to be penalized in search and suggested video, and they're just less discoverable overall across YouTube. Is YouTube penalizing videos that are not suitable for all audiences? And the answer is no. That yellow icon does not mean that your video will be limited in search and discovery parts of YouTube. The advertiser's preference of where they want their advertisements to display on YouTube does not play a factor nor a role into YouTube deciding where to surface that video on YouTube. Basically, the advertising system and the search and discovery system in YouTube are two separate systems and they can independently come to the same or differing conclusions about the same piece of content. So just as a video with profanity or violence might not be suitable for all advertisers, that same video might not also be recommended to all viewers. Another big question is, what do I have to do to ensure that my videos are as advertiser friendly as possible? And I will put a lot of links in the description of this video here on YouTube that you definitely, all creators, you guys need to familiarize yourself with the content in these links down there. The advertiser friendly guidelines and best practices are outlined down there. I have another video that's linked up down there as well that will walk you through those things. You just it's just, it's just a little bit of education needs to happen. But maybe you say, Tim, I already know what advertiser friendly content is and I don't want to make it. Like, do I need to change everything I'm doing now on my channel just in order to suck up to the advertisers and do whatever they say? Like, are all the channels basically gonna become like the same channel now? My personal answer to that is no. You should continue to do exactly what you're passionate about doing and serving the people that you're passionate about reaching with the message that you're passionate about spreading. Put your audience first before money. Because remember, just because you have a yellow icon and it says not suitable for all advertisers, that is not the same thing as saying, if this is unsuitable for all advertisers. It only means that there are some advertisers who just don't want to be on your content, but there are also other advertisers who do want to be on your content and you have the exact audience that they want to reach. But even if you know that your content is not suitable for all advertisers, that's okay in my opinion. Personally, I'm kind of glad in a way that all this is happening because I think a lot of YouTube creators now are realizing that I don't control the AdSense, AdSense system. I don't control what advertisers want to do on my on my videos. Like it's most of that revenue is like outside your control. And I feel like we as creators need to think less like employees where we're just coming to YouTube thinking like, I put a lot of work into this and I should get compensated because I worked really hard. But on YouTube, I think we need to start thinking more like small business owners. And it's not just exchanging hard work for a paycheck, which is 
obviously part of it, but it's also thinking more like, how do I exchange value for value? How do I deliver good value, but also set up ways and avenues for capturing good value in return? I really want you guys as YouTube creators to control the revenue streams around your content. I'm not saying AdSense is bad. I take AdSense, I like it, but if that went away, we would still be okay because it's actually like a small percentage of our overall income for my family and my business that comes in through YouTube. And I'm not going to get into all of that here because I've already talked about that a lot in the past. If you want to hear how this channel went from zero to 3,000 subscribers in six months and at that point was generating $10,000 a month with 3,000 subscribers, there's a free podcast episode of mine down, linked up there on there in the description of this video. Go check that out, listen to it completely for free. If you wanna dig into it and really learn the ins and outs about how do you develop an audience that's not just customers for someone else, and you're just constantly selling other people's stuff to them, but instead you start to see that audience as customers who are willing to make a transaction with you as a creator. There's another link in the description down there below that goes to my course called Turn YouTube Into Your Career. And it goes into detail about how to develop a business model around your channel that extends far beyond AdSense, beyond advertising, because basically when you're just banking on advertising, it's like, Someone, I mean, a brand's gonna pay you $5,000 to sell their stuff to your audience because your audience is gonna give that brand $25,000. So I look at it and like, rather than me collecting just a pool of people who will be someone else's customers, is there a way for me to sell directly to them and make them my, my customers? And that's just as important for educational channels as it is for entertainment channels. Like, we've talked about this, we're not gonna get into it a lot here, but. Links down below, check all those out. I know you guys have a lot of other questions and concerns and things you wanna talk about, so please comment with those down below. If you see someone else asking a question that you also have, please give it a thumbs up and let's rate and rank some of these things so we can address these again in future videos and live streams and th things here on the channel so we can give you guys the information and the help you need to really grow your channel and make it financially sustainable. So thank you guys for letting me be a small part of that here. Subscribe if this is your first time here because we're all about just growing our channels together, not just for money, although that's obviously important, and not just for views and not just subscribers, but ultimately to reach what those things represent, which are actual real people, and impact their lives with the message that we're spreading. So thank you guys for letting me be a small part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again on Monday for a live stream. See you then, bye.